Hello, everybody. On an early, sunny morning. First, to start with, I thought a little look into the past of us. As you saw from the Teddy 30 program that we have put together, the Jubilee film program. Yesterday, I had Ulrike Ottinger and Isaac Julian on stage in the Zoo 2, uh, in the smaller hall. But it was very difficult to like, you know, get everyone. We had to start a little bit late because Mr. Netanyahu was still not, had still not left the airspace of Germany. So they kept the area still overprotected. But uh, from today on, that should be fine. And uh, we have the Zoopalast back. It was wonderful to speak with, with those two. We had many people in the audience that uh, I think, or some at least, I have seen exactly 33 years before in the same cinema, watching the same films. And uh, we are queer and we're still here. So this was like a very touching moment. Because of course many of those who were there 33 years ago are not. So AIDS comes back and back when you look back. Right now we have a time of, let's, how shall I put it? The progress we have made as visible existing people is tremendous everywhere in the world, also in those places who are the worst for us. Also there, now they know that we exist. And I remember very well in Germany how important it was to make them understand that we exist. Because before they knew that we exist, we could sort of exist underground and the commercial world for queer people already, or for gay people especially, was already functioning. But the visibility wasn't there. And when the visibility started, this was us in the early 70s, we first could do what we wanted to do because they did not know where we were, who we were. But when they found out who we were, the counter forces only started to form themselves. So now I see the world like as a calendar. And okay, let's be Europe-centric for a moment when we say 2016 would be us. I look to other places in the world and you have different year numbers. In some countries it's 1564, in other countries it's already 2056. We're definitely not the most advanced here. We still have many people that were in the prisons of the Adenauer time, that's the democratic time after the Nazis, that are not recognized as victims of the Nazi law. And this is only, as far as I know, valid for gay men, not for any other minority. And this country is still putting its energy in this daily politic to make clear that heterosexual family is worth more than a same-sex family. So we're far away from having reached equality, even in those countries who tend to think that we have. I think this is very important because often enough a minority, when it gets a little bit better for it, is more emancipated than a majority and this is a mistake we should never make. The other thing is everything that we have reached over the 40 year time span that I can look at, nothing that we have reached in those 40 years is for sure. So we have to reach it again and again and again, no matter where we are. This is also said to uh, give solidarity and to give inspiration and bravery to those who live in worse places than this, because we also started small. And uh, yeah, when I look at you, I could cry. <laughs> Thanks for being here.
in my life, of course, it all started with Rosa von Braunheim's film, Not the Homosexual is Perverse, but the situation in which he lives. Great title. Love to say the whole thing again and again. <laughs> And he was there last night in a, a nationwide broadcast with Moses who's sitting in the back from the Teddy jury and uh, myself and the team of the film Jonathan. And we had the chance to shoot little statements out uh, concerning queer film. They showed the whole reel of the queer films of the Berlinale. So these are the films that you have seen or will still see. Uh, which was a great thing, and they can say schwul, which is, was a bad term once, we turned it into a good term. A little bit like queer in English is a bad term, and now it's turned into a positive term. And uh, yeah, it was just this moment I realized when the first time in our national broadcast, in the national news, that term was used naturally as a term for us, schwul. Took them, of course, decades to do that. And then they came schwul lesbisch. All of a sudden they could say schwul lesbisch. And then when, when we turned into schwul lesbisch transidentisch, they became a little bit, they could not. So queer, I think, is now the term that is not under queer theory understood pop in, in the popular language, but at least understood as the umbrella under which we all fit, and many more people fit under this umbrella than under the term gay, lesbian, trans, identical. And I think this is a very good thing because now we are a population of a volume that is not to be overseen. At the same time, the differences of the little groups that form this big group are becoming wishy-washy. And I think this is an interesting point now to look at those differences, enjoy the differences. It's the variety, it's the variation and the experience of the different segments of minorities that are under this big umbrella that will give the subcultural power to develop again and again and again new things. New things that we need in order to be, to be a minority that's inventive and provocative and challenging and hopefully happy at one point. So these are the ideas I have when I put a program together for the films. Also especially the Teddy 30 program which is looking far before the Teddy was made because everything did not start at a point but something was before. And uh, Manfred Salzgeber, who started a whole new world of theatrical exposure in the 70s in Berlin by creating new cinemas or taking over old cinemas, he has created the grounds for the development of panorama programming. Before, he was also a founder of the Forum of Young Cinema. Also there, he showed already the Rosa von Braunheim film that I mentioned before. And uh, yeah, this led to a counter program to a counter program within the Berlinale. And since then, queer people from all around the world come to the Berlinale, like you today. And one who came very early and was there where the very first Teddy was born is Bob Hawk. He's sitting right here in the front row. Hi, Bob. Please come up.